You gonna steal whose candy? Not on my watch, Captain. Today, I'm gonna tell you how bikers deal with bullets. Hopefully, I'll inspire some people, maybe give you a little bit of wisdom. Maybe teach you how to put that gun down and throw them hands up. Stick around. You ain't seen nothing yet. Yep, yeah, so today we gonna talk about bullies, bullies, and more bullies. First of all, let's figure out what makes somebody a bully. First of all, they're probably insecure about their own self, or they're trying to, you know, project their little problems on you. Or maybe for some reason there's something about you they just don't like, so they want to mess with you. What do you do? You go home and get your gun and blow their head off? Nah. You know, back in my day, we didn't do all that. Everybody had guns, and we didn't do that. You had a problem, you go out behind the shed, you throw them bones. You know, after a sudden done, you went your way, I went mine, and we cool. You know, growing up, Pops wasn't always around, but I had uncles. Half of them were military, half of them were bikers. So I kind of got both lifestyles. I was in the military, I'm also a biker. So, you know, we didn't run home, get a gun, and go shoot the school up. First of all, because, hell, you never know who got their damn shotgun in their truck. They shoot back. You can't do that nowadays. There's a lot of things you can't do. You know, Throw your hands up. If they, if they bully you, that's their problem. Here's the secret how bikers deal with bullies. They're your bully. You own them. You're the one that gives them power. Everything in life is a power structure, whether it's a job, a social standing, or anything else. They're your bully. You know, I see cancer as a bully. I got cancer. Cancer don't got me. I'm up every day fighting that turd. And eventually he'll give up because I'm stronger than he is. You know, if you got to, I was always told, two or three of them jump on you, pick up a stick. Yeah, you know, everybody goes, well, yo, big daddy, how'd you learn to fight? You know, yeah, I was in the Marine Corps. I learned hand to hand. I boxed. I done this. I done that. When I learned to fight, I just get my ass whooped. After so many times, they'll figure out you ain't go back down and they'll leave you alone. You know, if you can't do it yourself, go get help. Whether it be a stick you pick up, go get your buddies. Come up, use your mind. Mind over matter. Use your mind. Say, okay, look, he's bullying not on me, but he's bullying this one. So I'm not saying two or three of you jump on him, but y'all let him know, look, after you fight me, you got to fight him. And while you're fighting him, I'm going to be recovered. As soon as you get done fighting him, you're going to fight me again. And we're going to take turns until you're tired and one of us wins. I mean, you know, you ain't got to go home and get no guns, shoot up no school, go home and kill somebody. You ain't got to do that. Yeah, a lot of bikers carry guns and stuff. That's because they never know what they're going to get into. Especially if you're camping, you never know if a bear or something might cross you or a mountain lion. But, I mean, you know. It's all about you owning your situation. Figure it out. If you can't use your hands, use your mind. The best way to learn to fight, take a couple blows, stand there and just learn to be a man about it. Let them punch you in the mouth a couple times. You know, you want to be the one? Just remember, once you learn how to throw them soup bones, you don't mean you got to become a bully. Be secure in who you are and what you can do. Now, I ask you once again, who's gonna steal whose candy? You ain't taking my candy. And sometimes it's all about the confidence you exude. You know, you walk in with your head down and a little wallflower and all meek. People's gonna try to take advantage of you. Steve Harvey said it best, fake it till you make it. You don't know how to fight, fake it. You know how many people I know that's faked it and I never once seen them in a fight their whole life. Yeah. Sometimes just fake it till you make it, man. And if you gotta get punched in the mouth, so be it. You got punched in the mouth, you learn what not to do. 
the most vital thing to learning how to fight, learning how to deal with bullies. Duck. If you get hit in the mouth enough times, you'll learn. Duck. Anyway, stay safe. Don't eat too much candy. That shit will rot your teeth. Give you a belly ache. <laughs> so until next time, y'all go out there, be free, see this big old world, enjoy life, live a little bit, laugh a little bit. Like and subscribe so you can get a free game. And don't forget, hit that bell so you can tell when we are here.